In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to place a stop loss order on Ninja Trader. And we're also gonna talk about the difference between a stop market order and a stop limit order and why this one order type could leave you very exposed. So to start things off, when you first open up a chart, you get whatever instrument you want up in the tab. What you wanna do is you wanna click on this icon right here. What this is gonna do is this is gonna open up Chart Trader. You might say, Mike, I don't wanna hit this, all these buttons over here. Well, even if you don't want those buttons, I would still highly encourage you at minimum, have it where it says Chart Trader hitting. And that's gonna be because it's gonna open up other possibilities for us. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna place a trade real quick. We're simply gonna go ahead and hit buy market one contract. Now we can see that when we got into the trade, you know, we don't have a way to get out, nor do we have a way to protect our stop loss. And I know some people like to go ahead and let the trade develop and, you know, just have a stop loss in and keep moving that stop loss up. Well, that's one of the things Chart Trader is going to do, because if we go ahead and we right click on our chart right here, we can see we have two different stop loss order types. We have a buy stop market and a buy stop limit. However, if we come back over here real quick and we turn off Chart Trader, and we right click on the chart, you can see we do not see those options. And if you come over here and you have chart trader hidden, then you can see those options will be applied. So if you do not wanna have chart trader on, if you don't like it for whatever reason, then at minimum, do yourself a favor and at least under this tab, have it where it says chart trader hidden, that way you have the options to go ahead and place stop loss orders. Again, this is one of the simplest ways to place stop loss orders in NinjaTrader. Now, if we simply go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and click sell stop market order. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit play. And if the market continues to go in our favor, one of the things that we can do is we can continue to move it up. If the, if the market comes down towards our price, then you know what? Ultimately, we are gonna be taken out of this trade. And I'm gonna move this up because I want you guys to see that it will at some point be taken. I'm gonna speed up the control head on playback you can see we're in profits now. Maybe we want to move our stop loss to break even. That way we mitigate the risk on the trade. Now at this point, whenever we get out, it's either going to be a profit or it's going to come back and hit our stop loss like it just did. Now, I would still highly encourage having Chart Trader up because you have this close button at any point. You can just simply hit close and exit the trade, especially if you're a trader that only likes to have a stop loss in and let the market dictate to you when you want to get out. So now that you understand how a stop market order works, let's go ahead and now we're gonna go ahead and re-enter the market real quick. And this time we're gonna hit a sell stop limit order. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click okay right there. And we're gonna just put it right there and I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Now, as this goes ahead and, and meanders around, either we're gonna get stopped out or we're not. And if the market starts going in our favor, I'll keep moving the stop loss in our, in our direction. However, we need the market to kind of get up and out of this area real quick so we can move our stop loss. And there we go. We're going to move our stop loss slightly in the profit. And you say, Mike, they work exactly the same. They both got me out of the trade. But hold up. Wait, there is a huge difference. The difference between a market order and a limit order is the fact that a market order guarantees you will execute a trade right here, right now. It just does not guarantee the price in which will be filled. A limit order, I want to get in or out of this trade at this one specific price and only that price. And I'm going to show you guys here in a moment, why that becomes a problem. Now, I wanna remind everybody, Apex 7 8, massive 80% sale off all their valuation accounts, passing as little as one day, and only $85 activation fee across all account sizes. If you wanna take advantage of this offer, use the link in the description box down below, use promo code Mike at checkout. So now, let's look at why a stop limit order could be an issue. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit sell market, so we initiated a new position. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and right click, then I'm gonna go up here and hit buy stop limit order. Go ahead and check that box right there. And essentially what, what we're saying is, if the market comes up to this price, I wanna get out, meaning we're short, it goes against us, we are wrong on the trade. However, I only wanna get filled at that price. If I cannot get stopped out at that exact price, then do not take the order off. All right, so now I want you guys to pay very close attention. As the market goes to reopen, watch where our stop limit order is. Look what happened. The market has gapped above the order. How come we didn't get filled? So now with a stop limit order, notice, yes, you had intentions to get out right there if you were wrong, but it can actually leave you exposed to much greater losses. All right, let's just see. Does it come down and fill us up, down, or does it continue to 
just rally up. Let's see how bad this gets. And, you know, a trader might think that they're actually protected on, you know, whatever said trade thinking, okay, I'm going to get out right there. And in that event, you are lucky. You are able to get out right there. Now, when we fast forward this and look, what would have happened if this did not tick right down there? This could have been a runaway train and you could have been off with your friends, family, having dinner or whatever the case may be, not knowing you are absolutely getting destroyed on the trade. So again, you want to think very carefully again, do you want to use a stop market order or a stop limit order? If we would have had a stop market order in that instance, as soon as the market opened up, boom, we would have been triggered out right off the open as soon as price went above that price point. Now, let's show you guys another way that we can go ahead and place a stop loss order. And this is going to be probably, you know, one of the preferred methods, at least for most people. And that is going to be, we can come right over here. It's called the ATM strategy. Now, I'm going to keep this one very simple. We're going to go to custom. And I'm not going to put a profit target in. We're only going to have a stop loss order. Now, from here, let's say I want, we're going to go ahead and throw this up here to 34 ticks. Right now, I know it's on ticks because parameters says ticks. Click OK, and we can name that whatever we want to name it. But now, let's say that we come over here on Chart Trader. We have that ATM selected. We hit buy. Boom, our stop loss order is already in place. Now, if the market starts to move in our favor from that point on, which it did not right there, but let's try this again. If the market does indeed move in our favor, I wanna show you guys, we can actually grab this stop loss order and we can move it around. So if you know, you know your order needs X amount, well then you, know, you can just keep playing with this and let the market dictate when it takes you out of the trade if you're that type of trader. Now, if you wanna learn more advanced ATM strategies, make sure to watch this video right here.